I still don't have an intro, so... Hello. This is a series that I've really wanted to do. I've been thinking of doing it for a while, and I don't know what was really holding me back, to be honest. But essentially, what I'm going to be doing is going through old videos, short films, whatever you want to call them that I made, and just... I, I know the title says react. I am reacting to it. Of course, I've seen it because I made it, but I'm also just giving insight on how I made it, how certain decisions were made. Just, yeah, give my insight because I was there to record and make all of this. So I'm going to be starting off the first one with a really old, well, it's not really that old, but it's a short film that I made in my freshman year of high school. Keep in mind, I'm about to go into my senior year. So this was about three years ago. Cut me some slack here. <laughs> now, I had already started editing and making videos for a while before then, but I never really uploaded them anywhere. I just kind of kept them to myself. So I had skill, if you want to really call it that, but I wasn't really used to working with other people. And overall, this was like a semi new experience to me. Also, I'd already been editing on Sony Vegas for a long time and switching to what to Final Cut Pro, which is what they had us use was a little hard. Now I probably should have mentioned this sooner, but my school has a film program called BATA or Bay Area Digital Arts. And in that class, uh, it's basically just what it sounds like. It's filmmaking. And in that class, our first big project was to make a short film. Now the problem with that was the short film had to be silent. Well, we can add music and sound effects, but we couldn't have the audio coming from the camera. And because we were just starting to learn, we had to incorporate every single shot, angle, sound effect. We had to include a lot of stuff that was kind of, well, at least for my group, I would say was very forced in. And I feel like because it was forced, the film wasn't really that good. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It didn't make it into a film festival and then lost to... Yeah, never mind. But enough with all the talk, let's get into it. So I'm here on my channel and I actually was going to react to the video on my channel. Then it turns out that I never uploaded it to this channel. So I found it on the Bata YouTube channel, which will be down in the description, by the way, if you want to go subscribe to it or it'll be up there too. But anyways, it's called You're Next. Um, the name was the idea of Jesus, who you'll see in the video as I think the killer. And I actually really like that name, um, but enough talking. Let me just play it and then we'll, I'll talk about it as the video progresses. It's only a minute 40 seconds. The intros are preset in Final Cut. I did not make this technically. I did change the color to red though, and I was pretty proud of that. All right, first scene, I already have stuff to talk about. <laughs> so there I am, y little young me look looking pretty much the same. <laughs> so the I forgot to mention this earlier, but the group was made of three people being, that being me here, uh, him here, and then the killer who will come in later. These three people, I, so this girl here, she's my friend, and I told her to bring in people to make a classroom, so she brought the other two. Also, there's this random umbrella in the corner because I guess it was raining at the time. And in the next few shots, that umbrella is gone. Continuity error that really annoys me, but probably nobody else noticed. Okay, so he's supposed to be looking through his backpack for something. Uh, he's kind of just like doing this thing on the corner of his backpack, not really looking. You can't blame us. We were freshmen at the time. We'll just let it slide. Also, look at this guy in the red right here. Just pay attention to him. He, he's like fighting with this girl over here, which I didn't even notice until afterwards and there was no way to fix that. I don't know. They were fooling around. They thought they weren't in the front of the camera. Turns out they were. <laughs> All right. So he gets up. He's going to his locker to look for the thing. By the way, he doesn't grab the pass either. 
<laughs> you can see right here's the pass. He just walks right on out. I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Alright, he's walking to his locker. This is actually my locker. Um, it was just the closest one to the classroom. I don't really know why that matters, but just an insight. <laughs> Oh, I'm coming for you. So I wrote this. Um, this was actually a decision made right before this shot. I literally just said, okay, well, he has to find something in his locker. So I just took a piece of paper, wrote it like that a couple times. Bam, I'm coming for you. Also, the shot beforehand of the camera in the locker, that took us forever to get. And he's not even in focus. But, oh well, what can you do? And there's a killer behind him. So I I bought this mask at Party City and this knife is from the dollar store and you can easily tell that it's not real. But uh, yeah. I mean, whatever. It's... Alright, then he goes magically to this tree, which if you go to my school, you'll know that this tree is all the way across the school. And the exit is actually closer than the actual tree itself so it makes no sense that he runs here i guess as a normal viewer you wouldn't even know that oh by the way he's over here hunched over right here and then, then the next shot he's standing up perfectly straight i wanted him to be hunched over i don't remember well yeah because all of a sudden i'm over here so i'm guessing i mean because i wasn't behind the camera i just didn't i couldn't control him being hunched over but that's the thing that kind of ticks me off a little bit. Just the fact that continuity. So there I am, I go to get stabbed. Also, he puts his hand on my shoulder for like a whole five seconds and I don't react at all. I I should have reacted there, that's my fault. I, I honestly can't blame anyone for that. <gasps> and then the sound effects. Like I said, we had to have maybe like three or four sound effects. So there's that. Also, the music had to be just straight from Final Cut Pro. So it's a lot of like generic YouTuber music. What can you do? We were forced to. So like the extreme close up right here. It worked for this actually, but a couple of the shots here were just forced. Just because like I wasn't thinking of making a good film. I was just thinking, let me get these credits so I can pass the class. <gasps> he turns around. He takes out. Okay. That thing is called Yonder, and a couple schools have this, but I know a lot of the schools around here in the area that I am don't, apart from my school. So these pouches are like pieces of cloth, basically, that you put your phone into, and then you close it up, and it's locked for the whole school day. And then at the end of the day, you'll reopen it, and you can take your phone out. And our school enforces this just because they don't want you using your phone in class, so it's locked in there, and you get to keep the bag so your phone is still on you i mean most kids still found ways to break out of it but we thought it'd be funny if he took out his phone to call for help and then it's in the pouch because that's a rule that's enforced at a school and that's a valid point that certain kids are making is like what if you need help and you're in an emergency and your phone is locked up so yeah i think in the moment we were going to have him call for help and then we realized that we forgot to unlock the phone because we were allowed to do that because we were filming and I guess we just went with it. So yeah, he takes it out and it's locked so he can't call. That That's pretty funny. Oh, I like that part. Oof, the little Dutch dangle. He kills him. Of course, I'm really proud of that pr transition, by the way. Or, well, I was at the time. I can do better transitions now, of course. But like, at the time, this was a very good transition. Like, I was proud of myself. Um... We had to go with the whole trope of like, oh, it was all a dream because we really just ran out of ideas on how this was going to end. So he wakes up and it was all a dream. <laughs> oh, and then, okay, this last part I added just while editing and I was so proud of this too because each one of these red flashes is an image that I'm like cutting up in and out, in and out. I don't know. I was just proud of that. <laughs> it took forever to do in Final Cut. All right, and then there's the credits. Couple things about the credits. So 10, 13, 17, I think this was a Friday the 13th. So that's why main camera is just part of it. Okay, the 6 a.m. part. So many people called me out for this when I released it. That was meant to say 3 a.m. because of the whole 3 a.m. challenges or that's the devil's hour or whatever. 
for some reason, my dumb self thought that 6 a.m. was the devil's hour and that creepy hour, not 3 a.m. I am so dumb for this because a whole a single Google search would have clarified that for me. But no, I wrote 6 a.m. instead of 3 a.m. So yeah, just imagine that 6, 6 a.m. And then the credits here. I wrote <laughs> Assam, 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 me, 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Don't write your credits like this. <laughs> it's supposed to be Assam, then his jobs, me, my jobs, Jesus, his jobs. Not separate like this. I don't know why I did this. Also, these aren't even the right credits. It says that all three of us were editing, directing, and acting. Okay, all three of us were acting. Not all three of us were directing and definitely not all three of us were editing. I don't know, I guess I wanted to like split the jobs up, which it doesn't matter if one person does more than another person. Keep in mind, I was barely acting. They were doing all the acting. They could have gotten all the credit for the acting and I could have gotten all the credit for the editing. And we did our jobs. Not everything on a short film has to be split up 50-50 or in this case 33-33-33. Some people just have harder or longer jobs than others and that's okay as long as you don't slack off and you're all doing your own job you get f full credit i thought no it has to be split up so i just wrote it like this for no reason and i don't think this i think yeah he just goes into the forest which by the way this is all at our school and it ends there i'm pretty sure yeah okay that's how it ends so yeah that was your next um that brought back a lot of memories. <laughs> I don't think I missed anything. Uh, let me see actually, how many views does this have? 200, 277 <laughs> and three likes and one dislike. Let me just do that real quick. I could only dream of having this many views. Can the people here come to my channel, please? <laughs> no, but in all actuality, this was a lot of fun to record. I might, well, not might, I'm gonna do it for like, pretty much every other film that I made and for any future ones too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and still don't have an outro, probably won't for a while. Just roll the outro outro. <laughs>